though yarn is the only thing worth going out on Black Friday for. Hey folks, it's Mary, AKA Mercy Triumphs, and this is my channel, Slow Crochet. First off, I wanna say hi to all of my subscribers, old and new, everyone who's commented, liked, and shared and interacted with me in the comments. Y'all are so wonderful, and I hope that you have as much fun with this yarny adventure as I do. Now, I did not intend to make this video. In fact, I was not going to go shopping on Black Friday, but I decided to just bite the bullet and do it. And I do wanna thank Shannon over at Shannon Talks Yarn because she recently uploaded a video about her unpopular yarny opinions. But one of them was, don't judge yourself for the size of your yarn stash. I'm paraphrasing, but something that I struggle with at times is I think I have yarn. I have it and I haven't done anything with it yet. I can only do so many projects at a time. What am I thinking about getting more? I talked it over with my husband because he and I have very different personalities when it comes to spending money. And he's just like, oh, go do it. Why not? Go have fun doing what you love, shopping and finding some treasures. So my favorite local craft store is Smart Arts and Crafts. It's here in Nashville, Tennessee. I have shopped and featured Smart Arts and Crafts on this channel before, and I learned from previous experience when they had another big sale that I needed to get there early. Store opens at 10 o'clock. I got there at 9.15 and there was already a line. And the most beautiful thing is the people that were around me waiting in line, they're my kind of people. And here in the South, if you're not from here or if you're not aware, you don't really know strangers. You talk to those people in line around you. And I had such a wonderful time getting to know the people standing around me. And it just really made my morning. Real quick, before I say anything else, the hat on my head is by Crystal over at Bago Day Crochet. And it is the Break Free Beanie. Crystal's tutorial will be linked below as well as information about smart arts and crafts. For this particular sale, it was how much can you fit into one basket? And you would get two baskets for one price. These baskets were about eight inches by 12 inches by about 18 inches. This is a nonprofit. They benefit adults with special needs. So it's all volunteers and wonderful people at that. So they were saying, hey, when you go to check out, if your basket is piled up over, they're gonna measure with a ruler and it's gonna be an extra dollar per inch above. So that told me I needed to do some yarn Tetris and really pack my baskets properly. When I went to check out, I asked the ladies to take a picture of me and my baskets because I was so proud of how I packed it. So hopefully this gives you a reference for size. <laughs> okay, let's start with the yarn. So one thing that I wanted to look for was sweater quantities of yarn. And if I could find some good quality brands, that would be great. But if not, I would just be happy with good colors. And I ended up finding some vintage Red Heart Sport. So I had to look this one up, but this is a DK weight yarn. It comes in 70 grams or 2.5 ounces. It is 100% acrylic, recommends a four millimeter crochet hook, and you can machine wash warm and you can dry it, but you do not want to iron it. And this is the color Soft Navy. Now this is not being made anymore. It is 165 yards a piece. So I got one, eight of those. So sweater for me, I realized that I really want to up my game in terms of my winter wardrobe because I've spent so much time making small things like hats because it, it takes me so long to finish anything that if I make something small, it's rewarding like a hat and larger projects have to be spaced out throughout the year. But this would actually fill a hole in my wardrobe and it's a really beautiful color, that navy blue. Some of them are not the same dye lot. There's a little bit of difference there, but maybe I'll be able to work it so it's not too noticeable. So that, to me, was a great find. Next up are some little bits and pieces of things. Just one ball here or there of something that I thought would be good for me to have on hand. So a couple of things. This is a mystery cotton, but it's in a bright red, so that will work. This is another mystery cotton in a 
deep blue, so that will work. This one is Dalagarn, Dale, D-A-L-E dot N-O, so I'm guessing that's Norway. This is a 50 gram, about 115 meter, 125 yards. This is 52% merino wool and 48% cotton. So I liked this for the color because I thought it would work really well in an amigurumi. Uh, I do have some projects that I would like to do in the future. I don't know when I will get to them, but I thought, let me go ahead and grab some little bits and pieces because I don't really have a lot of things dedicated for amigurumi. All right, so this is Kenzie by Haiku. This is 50% New Zealand Merino, 25% nylon, 10% Angora, 10% alpaca, and 5% silk noils, noils. This is 50 grams, 160 yards and hand wash, lay flat to dry. This is the color Bayberry. And originally from the whatever store this came from, it was $10.50. But that is a beautiful, maybe a sport weight, maybe a DK. And if I wanted to add that in, I could. It's kind of a wonderful mottled orange. What else did I get? I got some peaches and cream cotton. This is the color Oasis. Not sure what I will use it for, but it is lovely and it's good to have on stash. This one, Nashua Hand Knits, Natural Fibers, Creative Designs, Julia, designed by Kristen Nicholas. This one is 25% alpaca, 25% mohair, 50% wool, 50 grams, 97 yards, made in Peru from Westminster Fibers in New Hampshire. This is the color Geranium. It is hand wash. It is a medium number four and lay flat to dry. So beautiful fiber content there, delicious ruby red. And again, this will play really well with some other yarns, I am sure. We have Rowan. We have wool cotton. This is 50 grams and it is approximately 123 yards. This is 50% merino wool, 50% cotton. Originally at whatever fancy yarn store it was at, it was $12. Looks to be again about either a DK or a sport weight and just this barely off-white cream. So those would work well together. They're about the same weight, but wait, there's more. This one is Louisa Harding Yarns Flores. Fleuris, F-L-E-U-R-I-S. This one is 70% bamboo viscose and 30% wool. I just found it to be kind of interesting. Um, originally at the yarn store, it looks like it was $9 for a ball. It is 66 yards in a 50 gram, gram ball, so it's, pr it's probably more of a four weight here. This is a very beautiful periwinkle. It's that wonderful blend between like a lavender and a cornflower blue. So quite lovely. Not something I normally would have gravitated towards, but I was just looking for interesting labels and interesting fiber contents. Um, here we have what looks to be some sock yarns, and I will go into this more in a minute, but I thought these were really lovely colors, especially this blue kind of marled that has like some yellow, it has some purple and some kind of mulberry in there. Um, and then the blue and the gray and the white is also just a good standard. So sock yarn, put a pin in that, I will come back to it. So when the shop receives donations, oftentimes they receive things that are partial skeins or floppy skeins, and they will wind them into balls. You know that you're not getting a full skein there, but on occasion, you can find that they've stuck the yarn label inside. This is Juniper Moon Farms, hello. I don't mind that it's just a little bit, but this is Santa Cruz Organic Merino, finest organic merino humanely grown in Argentina. It is 100% wool. It is a medium weight number four. It is a beautiful dusty rose pink, absolutely lovely. And this originally would have been in 100 grams for 191 yards or 175 meters. So yeah, I have never worked with Juniper Moon Farms before, 
and I'm really glad to get the opportunity to do it. Now, this is not a super wash wool. It does have a little bit of scratch to it, but I don't mind that. And again, this is gonna play really nicely with some other four weights. This would be a good time for me to say, hey, do you have a favorite stitch that takes more than one color? Because I'm gonna need it with all these little balls. Here is another beautiful ball that is not a full skein, but what do we have in here? Isager Isager Alpaca Merino. It is 50% alpaca, 50% wool. It would have originally been 50 grams, 250 meters. Light blue is the color. And at the yarn store where this was originally sold, this fine yarn was sold, it was $12.50 for a full ball. And this one, I just had to grab because I think that I know what this is. These colors of flex are so jubilant. They are like vintage blankets, like the uh, Pendleton blankets that are those fancy wool blankets that all the chic people have who can afford to spend hundreds of dollars on a, on a wool blanket. Our crochet blankets are worth hundreds of dollars because if you paid us for the hours that we put into it, it would easily, easily get up that high, I'm sure. Nevertheless, it is a wonderful milk chocolate brown and it has the horn yellow and kind of a foresty jungle green, like a deep kind of cerulean almost blue, and a little bit of orangey red in the flex. So I grabbed that because I thought this is gonna be really fun and I have something coming up in the future that would coordinate with this really well. This is bag number two. <laughs> Let's get into it. This video is gonna be so long. What is this? It's Woolies. I know it's Woolies. I love a good Woolies. I love this color of Woolies. Couldn't tell you the name of it right now, but I know what it is. No, it's a floppy skein. I don't mind. I'll use it. It will be so beautiful with so many of these other random bits and pieces. Happy. Raji. This is by Jarbo Garn, and it's called Raji Sock, although it is not a sock weight. It's definitely a three or a four weight, maybe a light four, but it is the color Party, or maybe Splash. It's kind of hard to say. 70% wool. 30% polyamide. This has it classified as a six weight, but I don't think that that's accurate. I think that we are going with a different measurement there. I thought this was just jubilant and fun, but this one's not gonna stay with me. I have an intended recipient in mind for this. And this one is Barufa Maratona. This is 100% extra fine merino. It's saying a four to four and a half millimeter knitting needle, pure virgin wool. Some of this is in another language, so I'm doing what I can. I love this color. It is gorgeous. Okay, yards. It says 121 yards in here. This is more or less of a chain spun yarn. It looks to be about a DK weight, but it is a true blue, like a sapphire pure blue, so deep and so lovely. Definitely not navy blue, but definitely a, a perfectly dark blue, perfectly acceptable in your crayon box. Wool of the Andes Sport Weight. This is from Knit Picks. This is a two weight, hello, we have some weights now. 100% Peruvian Highland wool, and it's hand, hand wash, lay flat to dry, crochet hook recommended is an E7 and knitting needles number three to five. This is made in Peru. It's a sport weight. It's white, 137 yards, 50 grams. Cannot go wrong with a little bit of high quality white in your stash. Here we have a mystery <laughs> and I could not tell you what it is. I, but you know, when I see something in a hank that feels like wool and it looks like high quality. Now I think this is probably a two weight maybe, maybe even a one. I almost put this one back, but it was still waiting for me when I needed to fill up some extra space. So it came home with me. I don't know the yardage. I don't know the grams, but I thought this would work up into a beautiful shawl. And you know, I'm always down for a good shawl. To go with it though, here is some Lion Brand Sock Ease finished with aloe vera. This color is Rock Candy, and I've never worked with this before. This is classified as a one weight, a super fine. This is 75% wool, 25% nylon, and the colors in this are this really dusty lavender 
and a kind of limey green and a muted mulberry and sort of a, a hazy grayish deep blue. So not colors that I normally would have gravitated towards. Um, I think that limey green kind of throws it a little, a little bit, but if you put these two together, I think the lavenders and the pale colors in here would really be interesting. We need to see if I could work these up together. So I told you to put a pin in the idea of sock yarn. Well, here is the first of maybe many sock yarns. One sock yarn and then a whole lot more. Oh my goodness. Okay, these are going everywhere. I got a lot of sock yarn. Why? This was a good quality yarn and I thought, hey, I love making shawls. I don't have to make socks. So I just kind of cleared them out of most of their sock yarn. So a few of these do go together and some of them don't. Um, for example, Red Heart, Heart and Soul. I got two of these. They are the color Mellow Stripe and they are really cheerful, like a muted rainbow. These are a one weight, super fine. And they are 213 yards, 195 meters, 1.76 ounces or 50 grams, 70% superwash wool and 30% nylon. Machine wash, warm, dry, flat, made in Italy. Two of those. Now I already had one of the Lion brand and I did grab another of Sock Ease. This one is color 202. Does it have a special name? It's the exact same specs as this one. This one is called Rock Candy. This one is called Taffy. And it does kind of have some of the similar, kind of like a that deep purple-ish. You can see how they would relate to each other. So they're definitely related, but they would probably have some awkward conversations around the holidays. So maybe not tight-knit families, maybe not close family. All right, and then comes the Patton's Croy socks. Three in the color Glen Check. One in the color Camo Colors, hey. One in the color Cadet Colors. One in the color Clover Colors. These are all the same specs. It's all 75% washable wool and 25% nylon. All these sock yarns are all one weight and Here's the original sock yarns that I had. These Patton Croy socks are 50 grams, 1.75 ounces. They are recommend a crochet hook size of 3.25 millimeters, which is a USD or a three. 152 meters, 166 yards, made in Turkey, packaged in Canada. I was thinking shawls. I was thinking things that I could even hold double and I was thinking quality fibers. So this is gonna be a fun challenge to see what I come up with with all of this sock yarn. And here's a hint, it's probably not gonna be a lot of socks, but maybe, maybe it will be. Y'all, okay. we are in the home stretch. This is me looking at this for the first time, unraveling the hank. This is 50% silk, 50% wool. Hmm, I'm glad I have good taste. 50 grams, approximately 72 yards, made in USA exclusively for Reynolds Yarns in Townsend, Massachusetts. Hand wash in cool water and mild soap, lay flat to dry, press with a cool iron and do not bleach. So I don't know if you can read any better than I can what that might be. The dye lot and the color is also obscured, but this looks to be kind of a loosely spun yarn, or maybe it's chain spun, maybe it's chain spun. It's a beautiful medium blue and probably a four weight, if not maybe a DK, but I think that 72 times two, yeah, about 150 yards will be more than enough to make a beautiful hat or something wonderful if I mix it in with some other yarns. This one was just fun. <laughs> yarn B Ashley, fall kissed. It is four ounces, 134 yards. It says 2013 Yarn B, so Hobby Lobby brand. This one is 56% wool, 44% polyester, medium weight number four, and four ounces, 113 grams, 134 yards, 123 meters. Recommends a size US 9 or 5.5 millimeter knitting needles. I love this kind of cream color with the mottled yellow and orange and kind of that avocado green in there. And then it's got really interesting flex 
throughout it that are woven through in a little bit of blue, a little bit of brighter colors. I thought it was really interesting. So I thought, yeah, this one, this one needs to come home with me. I didn't even notice that it had wool in it. So happy days. So I'm not sure if this one is full or partial, but yeah, I think it's partial. The original though, this is Ella Ray Rustic Lace. This is a New Zealand wool and silk blend. It is a zero weight, a lace weight. Okay, so that's new for me. It is 50 grams, 310 yards, 285 meters, 75% lamb's wool, 25% silk. So it's calling for steel hooks, which I do have. And uh, yeah, made in Turkey for knitting fever. This is the color rosewood and it is kind of a tweedy yarn. I think Rosewood is actually a really apt name because it kind of reminds me of cedar, but not quite. Um, it's that kind of pinky, it's on the pinkier side of red. So lace weight. So this is something that I could hold together with another yarn for sure, or I could try working with my steel hooks and see what I come up with. Cannot be mad at this. Rowan Baby Cash Soft Merino, made with extra fine merino wool and cashmere. 50 grams, 57% wool, 33% acrylic, and 10% cashmere, made in Romania. It does not have a color name, and it looks to be about a DK weight yarn. It is approximately 142 yards for 50 grams, so maybe it's a sport weight. It is a dove gray. Another single one, this is Knit One Crochet Two, the Gourmet Collection. I'm not even gonna attempt French, sorry guys. Um, this is 25 grams, approximately 145 yards or 132 meters of 65% cashmere and 35% silk. This looks to be either a one weight or a two weight. Made in Italy for KC Yarns out of Ventura, California. There's a color number, but essentially it is a beautiful ruby red. So we're getting into the cashmere. We're getting fancy here. Here is a mystery yarn. <laughs> I don't think it says what it is. This might have been like in a mini skein because I have another mini skein here, a couple of these. This one is definitely a lighter weight, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is merino. This looks like a one weight or maybe a zero weight. This is either a one, probably a one weight, I guess. I don't work with a lot of things under a DK weight, so I'm not really sure, but bright orange in a mini skein. Let's get out of our comfort zone, shall we? And then this blue, again, with that kind of cornflower medium blue, it's just like, this is gonna play really nicely with some of the things that I have on hand. Okay, so these are actually different. This one that I thought I thought these were going together. This one is 50% alpaca, 50% merino, 50 grams, 250 meters. This one is 100% alpaca, 50 grams, 400 meters. Okay, so there is a weight difference here. So this is either a, maybe a zero weight, and this is a one or maybe a two. All right, so more alpaca. However fine it is, I'm not gonna complain. Y'all, if you, if you could see what I'm looking at down here, this pile, it's ridiculous. Peaches and cream, can't go wrong, four ply, approximately 120 yards, 109 meters, 2.5 ounces, 70.9 grams. It's not bad to have a dark taupe in your collection, especially if you have some amigurumi type things on the horizon, like the distant horizon, but it is on the horizon because who wouldn't love a bear? or a puppy in just that wonderful chocolatey brown. And while we're at it, here's an I love this cotton in your straight on white. So again, good basics to have. I love this cotton if you're not aware. It is a four weight cotton. It's 180 yards, 196 meters, 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. This is a mystery. It was interesting to me because it is kind of that birch tweed, but it's in maybe a sport weight. I think that there's maybe a little bit of wool in it, but maybe not. Maybe it's just like a vintage acrylic, but I thought pretty enough and it'll play well with some other things. So I'll bring it on home. I did the Patton's Croy socks now for the Patton's Classic Wool in Worsted. This is light gray marl. It's a four weight yarn. 
It is 100 grams, 3.5 ounces. It is approximately 192 meters and 210 yards. It's nice to have a worsted weight in here every once in a while. That's good for me. So this will play really well with some of that Juniper Moon Farm or any of the other worsted weights that I grabbed today. This is a good standard piece that I can add other colors in and other textures into. Speaking of vintage, I had to grab this because this yarn is the mystery yarn that I've been working with on my Christmas tree skirt. It is the exact same color, the exact same texture, and now I know what it is. It is Caron Easy Care Acrylic. Anyway, this is 100% acrylic. There is no way that this is a full skein. That's okay. I just grabbed it because I thought this would be a good thing to have on hand. Man, you can't go wrong with this. This was purchased from Long's for 99 cents each. Oh, look at that vintage label. <laughs> this just makes me happy. Glad to have it. This has got to be some kind of alpaca blend or maybe, maybe something even softer. I don't know what it is, but it is the darkest, darkest brown. It's not black, but it's so close to black and it's so soft and beautiful. So anytime I saw a Hank, I knew that I was gonna have to pay attention. Absolutely lovely, very glad to work with this. Hey folks, it's Editing Mary here and I am throwing this in on this entirely too long video because Smart Art and Crafts did one of their classic moves of after a brilliant sale, they just went ahead and announced another brilliant sale. This time it's because they're doing some renovations in the store and they needed to clear out some space. So they said, hey, come get what you want, pay what you want, just get it out of here. They're clearing out some space. So did I go? Yes, I did. Did I get there early first thing in the morning? No, I did not. Did I come home with yarn? Yes, I did. So first thing I got, Red Heart Super Saver in the color Cherry Red. This is an older skein. I'm really glad that I picked this up because I only have this much left of my red for my Christmas tree skirt. And I'm not sure that the red that I already grabbed is quite right. I'm sure that it's not quite the same on camera, but this one is ever so slightly lighter. So in terms of matching reds, I'm glad to have an extra. So pick up number one. You love it and I love it. It is Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. I have not worked with this in at least six years, but this is a wonderful classic. Don't even know if it's a full skein or not. It might be, I'll weigh it later, but the colorway is oatmeal, color one, two, three. Four weight, calls for a size H or an eight or a five millimeter crochet hook. It comes in eight ounces or 225 grams, 465 yards or 425 meters. This is 100% pure virgin wool containing natural oils. I think that's an interesting point that they made on there because as I understand, um, some of the processes that wool goes through nowadays with the removal of all lanolin makes it different than the wool that people had in the olden days when wool was the go-to fiber, for example, in the Middle Ages. So interesting point on that. I grabbed a couple of I Love This yarns, two of these, which I love to do. I love to get two of them. Um, this is the color Peacock Tails, and I think that is just perfect. It is 100% acrylic, five ounces or 142 grams, 252 yards or 230 meters, recommending a size 5.5 millimeter I9 crochet hook. And I use this a lot. I'm excited to have two because this means more scarves and hats for donation. We have some I Love This cotton. One of them, well actually all of them, have the 94 cent clearance price. So we have a solid olive, love this color. So happy, happy, happy days there. Buttercup yellow, just a sweet little baby yellow. So baby mix in mind, this will be great for that. And then clearly someone wanted to coordinate these two. This one, I love this cotton, is called uh, number 230 Woods, which is just ideal as well. The I Love This Cotton is all 100% cotton. It's a four weight, all calls for an I9 5.5 millimeter hook. The regular solid color comes in 180 yards or 165 meters or 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. And the variegated comes in a three ounce or 85 grams, 153 yards and 140 meters. So 
Love that. I grabbed this cotton classic, 100% mercerized cotton made in Greece, Taki Stacy Charles Incorporated. There is a fancy store price of $8.25. This is a 108 yards or 100 meters. It is 1.75 ounces and it is 50 grams. It looks like just a basic black, no dye lot. I thought this would be great when Cassandra over at Craftably Ever After posts her embroidery amigurumi eye tutorial. I can't wait for that. So this would be a great yarn for that. I think it's definitely maybe a two weight, maybe a sport weight, needle size six or a four millimeter needles, machine or hand washable. I grabbed Debbie Bliss Merino Aaron Kalur 325101 Dilot 40. This is 100% merino wool, 78 meters or 50 grams. It recommends five millimeter knitting needles. So a little bit sad looking, which is maybe why it was overlooked. I was so glad to find it. Oh, this is Louisa Harding Yarns, and this is called Cinnabar. This is color number 09, and it suggests a needle size of US 7 or a 4.5 millimeters. And so it's probably, probably a DK weight yarn. There is some sparkle to it, but it's not over the top. It's kind of a gold glimmer. Um, this is quite an interesting yarn. It contains 30% viscose, 25% cotton, 15% acrylic, 10% silk, 10% linen, 5% polyamide, 5% acetate, and 500% beautiful, right? Does that add up? So this is several different colors all wound together. It's a dark kind of chocolatey brown. It's a pale kind of off-white and it's that gold semi-sparkly in there as well. So I'm not sure which fibers are which. All these different small bits of beautiful DK weight yarns. People like Gary over at Urban Yarns seem to be able to take random bits of yarn like this and make beautiful things out of really disparate pieces. So I'll have to get some inspiration, see if that'll rub off on me a little and put this one to good use. Was Nurton. <laughs> This is 1.76 ounces, 50 grams, 219 yards or 200 meters. And it's calling for a US size one to three, 2.25 to 3.25 millimeter knitting needles. This is 65% superwash wool, 18% polyamide, and 17% acrylic made in Turkey. I do think that this was kind of a fancier yarn, came from a fancier yarn store just because the fiber content is unique. But within these colors, it is spun together the black, kind of a uh, deep dark brick red, and just a plain white. So I think holding this together with something would be really interesting. We'll see how it all plays out. Now I will have to weigh this, but this is one of those beautiful cakes that you just never know what you're gonna find. I tend not to go for the sparkly yarns, but you can see the sparkle within that. And sure enough, they caked it up with the ball band. This is Art Yarns Ensemble Glitter Light. It is 50% silk, 50% cashmere with Lurex. The original skein of this would have been 80 grams. It would have been 366 meters or 400 yards and US size six needles. They're calling this a lightweight three. Designed by Irish Schreier, crafted in New York from 100% pure imported fibers. I don't know if this is accurate, but the original price on here from a store said $62.99. If so, that would be really remarkable. You know what, let me see how, let me see how much this weighs. All right, so I just weighed this and it said it's 88 grams, although it comes in an 80 gram hank. So I should have about 400 yards. Could that be right? I have a three weight? My goodness. Now that does seem like kind of a light three, but my goodness, this yarn has a very deep and dusky purple in it, almost like a mossy brown in it. And it seems to have kind of a navy blue. I think if I were to kind of dig around in here a little bit more, you might see more of the colors. But this was one that I just picked up on a whim 
because I thought when I looked at it, I thought, you know what, that could be something special. And that is something that I love about this store is you never know when you're gonna find something special. Now, I did grab some other just random balls of things, but I don't really wanna go over them. I do have a few more things real quick. Number one, I grabbed this Magi, or Magi. Uh, it's Irish MK Collection Luxury Hand Knitting Yarn. This is Magi's Italian Angora, okay? So it's all caked up here. You can see it's probably about a DK weight and it is black, so it might be a little bit hard to see. It's 70% Angora, 10% wool, 20% poly. So is that polyamide or polyester? I'm not sure. It is made in Italy. It, the color is black, 07. 28 grams would be approximately 90 yards. And it's calling for a size seven or a 4.5 millimeter needle. Let me throw this on the scale real quick just to see what happens. With the tags on, it came up at 32 grams. So, hmm, I'm thinking that this might be that full hank, which would be amazing. I've never worked with Angor before. It is super soft and wow, such a deal. Oh my goodness, I, I'm so glad I went in today and I was willing to dig through and find some of these treasures. Speaking of treasures, this one's for you, Miss Helen, over at the Mousy Makes podcast. What is it? <laughs> it's a tatting shuttle. It's a vintage tatting shuttle made in the USA by Boy Needle Company in Chicago, Illinois. Not too long ago, I'll try to leave the link in the video description, Miss Helen and her mother were tatting, something that I had never seen done before. And when I saw this, I thought no one else is gonna grab this, no one else is gonna benefit from it. Let me go ahead and get it now because one of these days, I'm sure I will want to take it up and figure it out. And speaking of things to take up, I got knitting needles. I thought, hey, why not, while I'm here, just grab them. I grabbed several different sizes, a size six, a size eight, a size four. I don't know a thing about these brands, except this one is Susan Bates, it's 10 millimeter there. Hobby Lobby's price was $3.61 back in the day. Working with Tunisian crochet has really helped me see maybe that there is more joy in knitting. So maybe I'll pick it up. With this great sale, I thought might as well, I'm not ever really gonna grab these at any other time. So I'll have them, I'll stock them, and when the time comes, I will have what I need. So that is it. That is my part two of my Black Friday yarn haul, and I'm gonna take you back to the future now. I saved the best for last. I got seven of these. Why, why would I get seven of these? Why are these so special? These are 100% cashmere. <laughs> Virtue One Skein Lace. Calls for knitting needles, six. This is 100% cashmere. 25 grams is approximately 75 yards. These originally were $18.25 at whatever yarn store they were purchased or they came from. I was stunned to find these. These were hidden underneath a bunch of random stuff, a bunch of random novelty yarns. And when I grabbed one of these and I noticed the label, I thought, oh my goodness, okay, whoa. I like This is the first time that I've come home with cashmere, okay, like 100% cashmere. This is fantastic. So I would call this maybe a two weight, maybe a three weight, but the colors in it are just a medium blue, kind of a pale, almost lavender blue, a aqua kind of sea foamy green, and then like a dark forest green. So really interesting colors, not things that I would necessarily gravitate towards, but overall the effect is one of that kind of mermaid hair, that beautiful Caribbean colors. So 100% cashmere. What I love so much about this is this is the kind of thing I was hoping to find today, that treasure in the midst of all the rest of the stuff. There are people that are on my holiday make list that would really value something made out of 100% cashmere, or I would. I could take, again, Shannon from Shannon Talks. Yeah, I could take Shannon's advice and use the good yarn on myself because I'm a yarny person, I'm gonna appreciate it more. So we'll see what happens with these, but I was just, I was just stunned. I'm so thankful that I live close to a place that not only 
does good work and benefits the community, but also makes things like cashmere accessible to a stay-at-home, homeschool mom, and a delight in crocheting beautiful things. Massive hats off to everyone who donates to local charities like this, and massive thank you to those who volunteer and who make places like this possible. One last thing, I almost didn't grab it because it was a project in a bag, and it's a knitting project, but I saw Copper Corgi Fiber Studio of Savannah, Georgia. 80% merino, 10% angora, 10% nylon, 210 yards, four ounces, 115 grams. This is Monterey worsted. And then we have a little bit of information about the copper corgi. When I saw the yarn, I thought, I don't care about the project. It's just gonna come with me. Needles and all. Y'all, this is my color green too, by the way. Now, I don't know what this is gonna be. I'm gonna frog it. I'll keep the needles, US 7, 4.0 millimeters. Whatever this frogs back to, I'm sure is gonna be lovely. The, you see a little bit of the fibers of the mohair hanging out. Oh, this is a stitch counter. I've never had one of these before. This is gonna be super helpful to me, okay. So I got knitting needles and I don't knit. I got some gorgeous hand-dyed yarn in one of my favorite colors. I get to take something that wasn't going anywhere and I get to give it a new life. That's another thing that I so love about smart arts and crafts and really any kind of charity thrift shop shops is the ability to give new life to things that others have passed on. When you donate, you never know who's going to enjoy that thoughtfulness. So massive shout out to everyone who donates to their local charities like smart arts and crafts. Massive shout out to my wonderful husband who stayed home and entertained the troops so I could go and have all kinds of yarny fun and treasure hunting. Massive thanks to you for still being here after all this time. It's gonna be really interesting over the next several months deciding where all this is gonna go, what projects these things are gonna go to. I'm super excited and I'm so glad that y'all are along for the journey. So again, in the comments, tell me, is there a favorite stitch or a pattern that uses multiple colors? I would love to get some ideas of how to play with multiple colors here, especially as I have some just one skein of small skein of some things. Let me know below. Thank you for doing so. Thank you for any other comments that you leave because y'all know I love hanging out with y'all down there. I love connecting with you. Thank you to all my subscribers once again, and thank you so much for sticking with me all the way till now. If I'm not your cup of tea, thank you so much for listening this long. I do appreciate it, and I do hope I'll see you again soon. Bye.